Leeds United close to complete the dream signing of Maximilian Vober. Also in the news, Leeds United target ex-player Alfonso Pedreza as he looks like he might be on his way back to Ellen Road. And Leeds United boss Jesse Marsh is hopeful of a transfer U-turn as a long-term vision is revealed for a Leeds United player. And everything else Leeds United, we'll talk about news, transfers and updates as we get into the Leeds United news. Alright guys, what is going on? My name is Ollie Ward. Welcome back to another transfer video. Sorry, I'm not in my usual setup. It is all behind me, but I'm sorting a few things out for 2023. Before we get into the Leeds United news, be sure to smash that like button. Let's go for 250 likes. Also subscribe if you're new. 10k is the goal for 2023. And comment today where you guys are from and I'll reply to every comment, I promise. So without further ado, let's get into the Leeds United news. Maximilian Vober has completed completed his Leeds United medical ahead of finalising a move to Ellen Road. So apparently there is many sources that the 24-year-old Salzburg captain has already agreed to join Leeds United. The 24-year-old defender is viewed as a dream signing by Jesse Marsh and it's understood Vober is looking forward to a new challenge away from RB Salzburg. Salzburg and Richton reports that a fee still needs to be agreed but apparently personal terms are sorted with the player. The likely sum for Voba will be around 13 to 15 million pounds. This is brilliant news for the Leeds United faithful with defensive reinforcements certainly high on the agenda of Marsh in the January transfer window. I know Marsh and you guys will be excited with this signing. This guy is the captain of Salzburg. He can play left centre back. He can play left back. But we do know that Victor Orta and the club still do want a left back. I think we shouldn't do this thing where we're playing a centre-back out on left-back like we're doing with Pascal Strauch. We need an actual left-back. And that moves me on nicely to the next bit of news. Victor Orta to target Villarreal left-back and former Leeds United loanee Alfonso Pedreza. Football España reported on Boxing Day that Leeds United were battling it out with Inter Milan for the signing of Pedreza. However, AS have suggested a couple of days ago that Inter are out of the race for the left-back. Does that mean Leeds United will go in for Pedraza. Do we need him back at Ellen Road? It's been suggested that Pedraza is the perfect fit for Leeds and that Villarreal are open to selling the left-sided player should the right bid arrive. A left-back simply has to come through the door at Ellen Road and it needs to be done in January. And Pedraza, for me, I know he had not the best time at Leeds back in 2017, but I think what he can do now, he's been in Europa League finals, he's had that experience... I wouldn't mind him at Ellen Road. It would be very refreshing as a Leeds United fan to see Leeds United get some early transfers done. And will Pedraza be one of them? Let me know in the comments down below. Leeds United head coach Jesse Marsh hopes young defender Cody Drama will choose to remain at Ellen Road next month amid speculation he may leave during the January transfer window. The 21-year-old Cody Drama has only made two senior appearances this year for Leeds. Cody Drama has featured predominantly in the under-20 Leeds team. Cody Drama had a very productive championship campaign with Cardiff last year, gaining their player of the season, but it does seem that he is low down in the pecking order for right backs at Leeds United with Luke Hayling and Rasmus Christensen being ahead of him. Cody Drama has gained interest from a range of clubs in the Football League and could leave permanently next month in search of regular game time, but Marsh hopes to persuade the ex-Fulham Academy product that his future still lies at Ellen Road. So Marsh did say he wants to keep hold of Cody Drama. He needs to give him more game time. That's how much he believes in the young right back. But players like Luke Ayling are just in that spot at the moment. I don't mind Luke Ayling, but do we need to start giving these youngsters more time? Jesse Marsh is going to do whatever he can do to keep on to Cody Drama in January. But I think game time might be calling for Cody and we could be seeing him gone in January. And the last few bits of Leeds United news. Phil Hay reveals 49ers want to improve Ellen Road immediately. Phil Hay has been speaking about how potential new owner 49ers are wanting to make big upgrades and developments to Ellen Road if they buy Leeds United. Leeds have been linked with a potential takeover from American group the 49ers who do indeed hold a minority stake in the club and reports have suggested recently there's a deadline to purchase the club of Andrea Radrazzani. I think we'd all be lying if we were saying Andrea Radrazzani has done the world of good for the club, but can he take the club further? 
Can he? I, I, I don't know if he can. I really want to know what you guys are thinking in the comments down below. Are 49ers the right answer? Do you still like Andrea Rabrazani as our chairman? Or would you like to see it completely fresh? I mean, he's done fantastic, but is he the type of man? Is he the, does he want to spend enough? I, I, I don't know. Do you guys want to keep Andrea Rabrazani? And the last little bit of news is Patrick Bamford will hopefully return to training Sunday or Monday this week. In a few days time, he won't be available for the Newcastle game. And guys, what's your thoughts on the Newcastle game? Will we get something out of that? Or a Newcastle just too good for Leeds at the moment? Let me know in the comments down below. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the Leeds United transfer news. If you do want to see more videos like this, more edited, more sitting down niceness, let me know in the comments down below. Also, smash that like button. If we hit 250 likes, I'll know that you like it. And also, guys, subscribe if you are new. We are getting very close to 10,000 subscribers, guys. 2023, we're going to hit it. Get down there and subscribe. I've been Ollie Ward. You guys have been excellent. And I'll catch you in the next video. Cheery. Uh -oh.